Good morning, how are we all? So, this morning's adventure, it's misty, it's sunny, it's a um, little bit of a nip in the air. But I come back to my favourite cemetery today to see if I can get back in contact with the spirits that are here. Last time I was here, I came into contact with a beautiful lady who's just laid to rest a few yards from me um, she's absolutely beautiful her name's Emma and we had good communication with her last time and any of the other spirits are here so I've already done my walkabout and my call out um, and we'll go on from there but when you keep going back to a place of interest your energy is absorbed with their energy so this is why when you go back to some places spirits will know your name they'll know who you are they'll know what your purpose is because your energy is absorbed within that area so the more you go back and the more you communicate the better the spirits are with you so I was going to do an investigation here last time but we turned up and unfortunately there was a few burials going on so we decided to go out where but anyway let's crack on and see what responses we get through spirits that are here you know who i am you know who i've come with i've come back with you know me and i love this place and you're also very kind is the spirit of Emma with us? Emma, if you're here, or any other spirits, I have a device over there that you can light up. It won't harm you. All these things I bring for you never do harm you. I respect you like I always do when I'm here. So spirits, would you like to communicate with me, please? Bit of white now. Spirits that are here. Do you remember me? Last time I was here, you said you didn't mind me being here. Emma, are you here? Please, is anybody here? Please don't be afraid, you know who I am. And I come with respect for you, like I always do. Emma, I'm calling out to the spirit of Emma. Or any other spirits that are here. Please come forward. Recording. We are recording. Is that okay with you? Do you mind us recording? As you all know, I'm a paranormal investigator and I like to communicate with the spirit. Would you be so kind as come forward and communicate with us or with me? Oh. <sighs> 
I'm getting the feeling of emotion again. Please come and speak with me, spirit. It's okay. I have a device over there. If you could go near it, it will not harm you. It will just light up and let me know that you're near. Emma, if you're there, could you make those lights go off for me, please? Chills crawl. Chills crawl. Chills crawl. Do chills crawl down your spine? Do people get the chills when they come here? Bit of a weird one. Spirits, please know if you're trying to speak with me. I like coming here because you're all very nice. You're very polite. And you can be very chatty. Are there any other spirits that would like to come and speak with me? Please do so. And when I come back again, hopefully I will be bringing some other people who would like to communicate with you. They are my friends. And they're very nice. And they will not disrespect you because I won't let that happen. This is my favourite place and this is where I like to be with you. Port. Port. From words like that come through, I don't know whether they mean the alcohol port or whether it's like a boat port. Um, I don't know. Were you on a ship, Spirit? Were you on a boat? Or did you used to like to drink port? Do you remember my name, Spirit? Can you tell me what my name is? Williams. Williams. Well, thank you, William. If that is your second name, thank you very much for communicating with me. Very kind of you to speak with me. May I ask, are you okay? May I ask, was that a soldier? Was your surname William? Yes, there is. Over the other side of the cemetery, there is a war memorial. Um, car. Car. Yes, we did come in the car. Did you know we were coming back? Did you know that I was coming back to speak with you? Can you see our car? Hmm. 
What are the spirits are here? At the moment, you're just being all very quiet. Do you want me here, spirits? Are you happy for me to speak with you? Daddy. Daddy. Is there a little child spirit here looking for her daddy? Or is this Emma? I do apologise. Is this Emma that's with her dad? The lady that I communicated with, or the young woman, her name was Emma, and... She's buried next door to her mum and dad. Um, if there is any children's spirit here, would you like to come forward? We're moving around. That's okay. You can wander, you can move around, you could... You could do whatever, this is your play. And you have... Torch. Torch. I haven't got a torch with me. Do you want me to bring a torch next time? That's one thing I'm going to invest in is... It's, um, I think they're like a mug-like torch. But what you can do is, especially if you're doing an evening investigation when it's dark, you can set the torch. So if the spirit touches it, it will light up and switch it off and everything. But it's very, very sensitive. So I'll have a look into that. See if I can get a torch. I don't know whether it's called a paranormal torch or whether it's just a normal little mini torch. But if they touch it, sensitive. Because I know some paranormal shows have used those. Do you mind me being here, spirit? Would it be okay to bring some friends with me to speak with you? I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed. Not to the extent that I'm... Winifred. Oh, good morning, Winifred. Good morning. Very nice to have you with me. Do you remember me, Winifred? Do you remember me? May I ask, are you buried over the other side? Evelyn. Evelyn. Evelyn, are you here? <sighs> you want to speak with me, spirit? Do you want something to say? Emma? Emma, are you here, darling? Because it's so open here, the spirit, they can wander around. They can go from here to the church. They could go from the church to here. You know, there's, it's not a big place. It's a small place. And there's just plenty of areas for spirit. Now, over the other side, there is a lot of old... Cabinet. Cabinet. 
See, I don't know what some of these words mean. But over the other side, there are some real old headstones. You're probably thinking, why am I so weird and quiet? It's so peaceful here. And the spirits, hopefully they know me, because I think this is about, it's about the fourth time I've been here. About the fourth time. And when you keep, like I said before, when you keep going back to places, your energy emits to that area. Police. Police. Well, that's funny because it's obviously whether or not you picked it up, but there was a siren that just went past. Lord of Death. Lord of Death. Does that mean... The Sebastian. Great... Hello, Sebastian. We've got Sebastian here. Sebastian, are you okay? And whatever spirit said Lord of Death, what does that mean? I've never come across that before. There's nothing bad here. I mean, I kindly camp in this cemetery. There's nothing bad. You don't get that feeling here. What you do get is the feeling of emotion and... I'm finding it difficult. What are you finding difficulty with? Are you finding it hard to cross over? Are you finding that it's difficult to know that you've moved on into the spirit realm? If this is you, Sebastian, you don't have to be afraid. Do you want to be crossed over? Or do you know you've crossed over? Oh, God. Not friendly. Why are you not friendly? This is a very friendly place. I like it here. Do you not want to be friends with me? Do you not like it here? Do you not like me being here? I don't expect everyone that was once living to be nice. Because not everybody is nice. There are some real nasty people in this world. And some who have crossed over, and they'll be nasty in death as they were in life. Please don't be nasty to me. I've done nothing bad to you. Fact. Yes, that is a fact. And you know that. I would never ever come here and do anything bad or disrespectful. You might not like me being here if there's any spirits that don't want me here. Tell me. Because I respect whatever you say. Whether they're spirits from the old part, you want to come over. I can see you all. You can watch us. You can see what we're doing. We're trying to communicate with you. I keep having to look down there. I don't know why I just have to keep having to look down there. Are you watching me? Are you down by that tree over there? If you're not friendly, can you tell me you're not friendly? 
and then we feel. Had, feel. Yes, I can feel that there's something around me. I definitely can feel that there's something here. And if you're not the nice one, then no disrespect to you, but I don't wish to speak with you. If you're going to be horrible, I don't want to speak with you. What do you want, spirit? If I am in communication with someone that's not very nice, then I want it out with you. I want to speak with you. Everybody, every time I've come here, everybody has been nice to me. And they've been friendly, and they've been calm, and they've been very, very communicative with me. But if you're going to be horrible like this, then I no longer want to speak with you. I want to speak with nice spirits. We will make a noise. Make a noise then. Do something. Knock that device over. That's over there. Go up to it. Make it light up. Do something. I really don't mind. But I really, really would like to speak to all the friendly, kind, loving spirits that are here. I love coming back to community. Pains in my chest. So, did you die of a heart attack? Is that what happened to you? The pains in your chest. Is heart related? Am I presuming that you crossed over suddenly? Do you know you've crossed over? Because. Because you had pains in your chest. And that's because you crossed over because you were so poorly. You may be at a heart attack. When I'm over here, I feel so drained. It's just... I, could just, I just feel so drained. Spirits, you can use my energy by all means. We are going to have to probably stop because there is a van that's just turned up. So if we do stop, suddenly, that is why. Spirits, do you know my name? Do you know who I am? Attach. Please don't attach yourself to me. I will come back here on a regular basis to visit you all. But you do not attach yourself to me. I ask very kindly that you don't. This is your place of rest and this is where you have to stay. I will come back. Whether I come back with friends, whether I come back on my own, or whether I come back with my other investigator. While I'm here, you can attach yourself to me. As soon as I leave these grounds, you stay here. Oh... Right, I'm going to go Vox. I'm going to switch Spirit Talker off and go Vox 
and just see what words come through. It's like Richard's pointing over there. Um, Children are playing. Yeah, I thought so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go box. No, we'll, we'll stay here. Because um, this is the area where I'm feeling more. Um, so yeah, let me go box then. Spirits come forward and speak. Bobman's. Is that Bob? Bobman. Sounds like they're playing with lightsabers. Emma, are you here? Can we speak through this device? I'll make the other device light up. What was that? Oh, I just got killed. Ooh. Weather. Weather. <coughs> it's nice and sunny at the moment. Is that the weather you like? Position. Satellite. I wonder if we've got communication with the soldier again. Really? Did they could Bow. Bow. If there are spirits of soldiers here, which I know there are, please come forward. You've got my respect. You've got my listening. Okay. Who am I? Who am I? My name is Joanne. I've been here many times before. Get. Get. Please don't speak to me like that. I come here with respect for you. I've never said anything bad about you. Please don't be like that. This sounds a lot like um, military. You know, you get in this um, where it says satellite and where it. I don't know, I'm going to have to listen to these words properly. I feel absolutely drained. And yet I had a good night's sleep. I woke up fresh. Now I feel drained. Welcome to the... Thank you. And I will be bringing some of you members that have kindly asked if you'd like to have along. We will be bringing you here because you will get the feelings. I'm still getting drawn down to that tree down the bottom. Da. 
Dan. Dan. Are you been speaking with me? What? Have you had enough of me being here? Have you had enough of me being here, spirit? <laughs> I bet the trains and all you don't know. I bet the trains and all you don't know. You can go into the church. Assignment. Assignment. Yeah. We've got a military person here. What's coming through is all military related or forces related. Doldrum. Big economic year. Ill man, you're ill mannered. It sounded like you said ill mannered. <laughs> Please, if there's a negative energy here, or someone that's not very nice, could you kindly leave me alone, please? I don't want to speak with you. If you don't like me here, do something. Yeah. Yes, that's my name. Right, this is just moving the face to. <laughs> that was like an aeroplane sound, that was. Okay, I'm going to ask the nasty spirit, or the one that's not very nice, if you're here, can you make that device light up? Or any spirit here, make that device light up. I'm a very, very nice person, and I really would like to speak with you, but I don't want to speak to the nasty one. Go back to that, uh... I think this time we should go back, way. Is there a spirit here that does not like me? Please, if there is someone here that does not like me, can you make that device go off in front of me? It won't harm you. If you don't like me, or you don't want me here, then make that light go off. Is that just the potato you just have then? Right. Come on, make that device go off for me. Light it up. Yeah, it has, it's just that. Use my energy spirit, light it up. If you're not a very nice person and you don't want me here, please, light it up. Make those lights go off. If you want me to leave, make those lights go off. I suspect this I'm not going until you make those lights go off. No, I just want to speak to it. Please be nice to me. Because <coughs> I come over here, and every time I come over here, 
you treat as me with respect, and you've been polite and kind, and I'm doing the same. But I don't like it when a very not nice person comes to speak with me. I'm feeling very tired. I'm feeling very tired now. Teacher. Teacher. Right now, all I want to do now is I just feel like it's going to be nice. the other. What? Oh. At if there's any service here, can you make that device light up? It's required. It is required. I, I require you to light those lights up. I um. Now you're talking to me. Make those lights go off. This is just... Yeah, I don't know what bloody words are coming through then. I just feel so strange. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I slept for a I was going to good night's sleep. Reporter? No, I'm not a reporter. I'm an investigator. I like to talk to spirit. I'm a paranormal investigator. I'm not a researcher. It's not gonna stop. You don't stop then. No, I'm not gonna stop. I'll stop when you make those lights go off. There you go. Make them go off again then and I'll shut up. I will stop when you make those lights go off. When you really make them go off. Is it? Then I will stop. You are blaming me, but I'm still going. If you want me to go, or if there's a particular spirit that wants me to leave, <laughs> then you really want me to leave, make those lights go off. Well. Well, yeah, make them go off. I don't know why I'm having... These horrible people come through. There's no need to be horrible to me. I'm not being horrible to you. <coughs> Andrew, you got <coughs> Robinson. <coughs> War. Action. Action. No. We're not filming. Well, we are filming. We're doing a paranormal investigation. Do you not like me doing that? Oh. oh, yes. See, they don't like they don't like me doing a paranormal investigation now. I think I've got a bit of a, an argumentative one here. That's what I think I've got. Make those lights go off then. Hello? Can you make those lights go off and I will leave you alone? I will end this investigation, but I will be back here, and I will bring some friends. No, not just me. I will bring some friends back with me. 
and I will get them to speak with you. Would that be okay? They say no. They say no. Right. What I'm gonna? I feel absolutely nasty. I don't know why. Why am I just this morning? What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut it there. If I do, I feel I feel horrible. I feel drained. And this is what spirits do. They drain your energy. <laughs> and when just some of you do come with me. I will bring you here, and you will feel it for yourself. There are good spirits here. There's more good spirits here than there are bad. Obviously, some like it. I like it, yeah. Obviously, there's something here that particularly is not nice, but I've never had anything bad happen here. And I will be doing a spirit board session here. And see what communications I can do, but Are oh. Right, spirits, I'm gonna end it here. This is your last chance to communicate with me. I will come back. There's, there's still a lot I need to speak with you. There. There? I will come back here. Oh, And I would like you to communicate with me again, if that's okay. Oh, she's in good. Alright. Well, thank you very much for, yeah. for communicating with me. It was very kind of you to do so. And I do so very much apologise. Because that's the way my voice a little bit. But I don't like talking to nasty, horrible people. I love coming back to this place. Friends, yes, I am a friend. I love coming back. I'm a lovely friend. And I like coming back here. And I will visit the church. But I like it here. And the spirits I have communicated with have all been very kind, polite, and friendly. So, yeah, I'll switch this off now. Right. Oh. Right, then. So, obviously, that is today's investigation. We'll wrap it up. I don't know what to make of this. Normally they have a lot more talkative. Is it the weather? And they know me here. So hopefully the next time I come here, I will hopefully have some of you with me. Um, cause there are a few places where I can take take you, or we can go, and you will go and see. You will feel something, um, and maybe you'll pick up on something. But yeah, so I'm gonna go hide and have a coffee now. From Mafford, need to pick me up. So yeah, so it's goodbye from the kids, and it's goodbye from me. And until the next adventure, stay safe, happy hunting, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.